second countdown. Put away your toys, finish your breakfast, grab your favorite stuffy, your blanket, your pillow, your mom and dad. It's time to go to the jar, 30 seconds. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It's good to see you again. Hey, welcome to the jar. This is the jar in Miss Jessica's living room. Normally, if you're with us, we are together in church in this big, beautiful room where we get to hang out with our friends and play games, sing songs and dance and learn about the love of Jesus. Um, but we're still staying at home. So I'm glad we get to do this together via your living room and my living room. So welcome. Um, I brought some friends with me today. So this is Sheldon. Say hello to Sheldon. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. And this is my favorite walrus, Mr. E.T. Say hello to E.T. He's my favorite. And then I brought a new friend with me today. Um, he doesn't have a name, so I'm actually going to ask for you, your help. Could you help me name this guy? He's cute. He's fluffy. He's pink. I think he's a bird. And maybe you can put in the comments your ideas for a new name, and we'll draw for a name next week. That will be fun. So... It's been a whole week since I've seen you, and it's been sunny out, and it's been rainy out, but I wonder, what have you guys been doing with your week? I can tell you what I've been doing. I've been taking lots of walks when I can, when it's nice outside. I like to get outside and get some fresh air, and I've started working on a puzzle. It's a thousand pieces, so it might take me a while. I'll show you a picture when I'm done, but it has 48 donuts, different kind of donuts. It's super pretty. It's lots of colorful sugar happiness, and um, that's been pretty fun. Let's see, what else have I been doing? I've been FaceTiming and video chatting with friends and family. Um, it's nice to see all my family's faces when I don't get to see them in person. So speaking of that, I know I have one family member that's joining us today and her name is Amelia. She's my niece. So I'm going to say hi to her. Hi, Amelia. Auntie Jess loves you. So it's fun to get to connect with people through the phone and through internet, and I'm glad we have that. Um, so I wonder, what have you guys been doing? So go ahead and tell me. Give me three things right now. What have you been doing all week? I'll listen. All right, all right. Okay, if you can hear me, touch your nose. If you can hear me, wiggle your fingers. If you can hear me, pat your shoulders. If you can hear me, put your hands in your lap. We're back. Awesome. That sounds like so much fun. I'm glad you guys are getting to do all those fun things. So I think the next thing we have, I gave you a challenge, didn't I? I gave you a challenge last week and you guys have been so awesome. You have posted your memory verses. You've posted pages that you've colored on your God time sheet. I know a couple of you have even been doing the devotions. Um, it's been so awesome seeing all of the things that you guys are doing at home to connect with the Bible lesson that we've been learning here. So just as promised, I put all of your names into these buckets. And today I'm gonna draw two names from each small group and whoever wins, I will send them a prize in the mail and I'm excited. So let's get going. Hey, why don't you guys give me a drum roll? We're gonna pick from this one. So drum roll, please. I won't look, I'm gonna pick out two. All right, here they are. I have Hudson and Sophia. Congratulations, you are my winners for the orange team. All right, another drum roll, give me a drum roll. Let's see. Uh, here we go. How about I have Corin? Hi, Corin and Avery. Avery, I have your name. All right, I'll be sending you guys some prizes. All right, red team. Here we go. Two names, and there's two. I have Kaden and Chloe. Congratulations, you are the winners for that group. Okay, last one. I think this is the 45 zone. Two names. There we go. There we go. 
How about Ethan E and Adelaide? Congratulations, you guys. All right, for you eight kiddos, I will be sending you a little prize in the mail. That's awesome. And don't worry, all of your names are in those bowls. And if I did not draw your names today, I'm leaving them in there. So you'll have a chance next week and I'll draw next week as well. Cause I'm gonna give you a new challenge. Here's the next challenge this week. Um, remember we have sponsor kids that we collect money for and we send them that money so they can buy things that are essential to them like food and clean water, school supplies, um, clothing. So I want to keep doing that and keep thinking as a group how we can collect money and how we can use it to help others. And I got this idea because my sponsor kid, her name is Grace. Um, she actually sent me a letter this week that thanked me for the Christmas present that I sent her. Now I sent her a Christmas present and she was able to buy uh, cooking oil and new clothes and a suitcase that she was able to buy a whole lot of things for her family that are very essential. And the really cool thing about it is in the letter, she told me that she used some of that money and she gave it to her community to help her community. So I thought, wow, that's awesome. We can do that too. So I've made myself a Congo Kids jar and in it, I've been putting some money in there that I've been collecting. This is mostly money that I've collected from doing laundry. Believe it or not, I get laundry money because a lot of my family leaves stuff in their pockets. And I figure if I get the, if I have to do the laundry, I get the change in the pockets. But that's going in my Congo Kids jar. My challenge to you, make your own Congo Kids jar as a family at home and post a picture of it. If you do that and you collect some money, maybe you as a family can think of ways um, to use that money to help your community. Um, and then tell me what your ideas are. Maybe we can share some ideas of how we can help others during this time. So show me pictures of your Congo Kids collection jar and that will be our challenge for this week. We are in the fifth week of our forgiveness lessons and I want to go ahead and go over the Bible verse with you guys, and I bet you, you guys can read it with me. So how about let's go over the Bible verse. It's from Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. Will you read it with me? Let's read it together. Put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. Colossians 3, 13. Okay, so we've been talking about forgiveness for five weeks. And this week, when you guys go on to the special link that gives you your lesson, they're going to be talking about what happens when you don't forgive. Um, you may miss out on something. So that is the lesson that we're learning about today. Why do we forgive and what happens if we choose not to forgive? And I think that will be a good lesson for us to learn this week as well. So before we go and before you push play on your next video, will you pray with me? Let's pray. God, thank you for your forgiveness. You are the forgiver and whenever we ask, when we've done something wrong, you always forgive us. But God, sometimes it's hard to forgive others. And sometimes we don't feel like they deserve forgiveness and it seems unfair. Um, but would you please help us and remind us that because you forgave us, you want us to forgive others. And because you loved us, you want us to love others. God, we want to forgive others so we don't miss out on something special like a relationship um, or a friendship with someone. So God, please help us this week in our last week of forgiveness lessons um, and be with us as we are with our family in our homes um, and surround us with love and comfort, even though we might be missing our friends and our school and the things that we're used to doing. God, we love you, and we know that you're with us through all things. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, it's been so awesome talking and chatting with you this morning. I can't wait to see what you guys do this week. Um, I'm proud of you, of all the things you're already doing, and I love you. I miss you. I will see you next week. See you later. Bye-bye.